How to Treat and Cure Hemorrhoids Hemorrhoids, or piles, can occur as a result of pregnancy, poor diet, excessive straining during bowel movements, or repeated bouts of constipation. Hemorrhoids are essentially varicose veins that form in your rectum or anus due to pressure on that part of your body. They often swell, bleed, and itch, which can be uncomfortable and difficult to manage. Hemorrhoids are generally not a serious condition, but people on blood thinners and people with cirrhosis of the liver may experience prolonged and significant bleeding. Fortunately, there are many different methods to get rid of hemorrhoids and prevent them from returning. Treating Hemorrhoids at Home Take a sitz bath. A sitz bath is a technique in which you soak the hips and buttocks in warm water. The moist heat of a sitz bath helps soothe hemorrhoids and relieves some of the painful, itchy sensations. You can use a shallow bath, or a special device that fits over the toilet seat. Soak the anal region in warm water for 10 to 15 minutes 2 to 3 times daily for fast, effective relief. Use wet wipes. If you're experiencing hemorrhoids, dry toilet paper can scratch and tear at already swollen inflamed veins. Instead of toilet paper, use unscented baby wipes or flushable wipes instead. Make sure you use wipes without fragrance or alcohol, as these may irritate hemorrhoids. Apply tropical medications. There are a number of over-the-counter tropical medications designed to help treat hemorrhoids, including creams, ointments, medicated wipes, and suppositories. Most topical medications contain witch hazel or hydrocortisone, which can help relieve the pain and itching associated with hemorrhoids. Other topical medications contain steroids, anesthetics, astringents, and antiseptics. Do not use over-the-counter topicals for longer than one week unless otherwise directed by your doctor. Take over-the-counter pain medication. Many people with hemorrhoids experience pain especially during bowel movements. If you're experiencing pain because of hemorrhoids, try taking over-the-counter pain relievers, like acetaminophen or ibuprofen, in conjunction with topical treatments. Do not give aspirin to children or teenagers. Aspirin has been linked to a rare but serious condition in adolescents and children called RIAIS, or RAIS, syndrome. RIAIS syndrome causes swelling in the liver and brain and can be fatal. Apply a cold compress. Because hemorrhoids are caused by swollen, inflamed veins, an ice pack or cold compress can help reduce inflammation by slowing blood flow to the site of the hemorrhoid. Seal an ice pack or cold compress in a plastic sandwich bag and apply to the anus for fast relief. Do not use an ice pack or cold compress for longer than 20 minutes at a time. Remove the ice pack for at least 10 minutes before reapplying as needed. Practice good hygiene. One of the best things you can do to care for hemorrhoids is to keep the anal area clean. Bathe or shower daily, and clean the skin in and around the anus with a gentle stream of warm water. You may do this with or without soap, but soap may irritate the hemorrhoids. Preventing hemorrhoid recurrence. Avoid straining during bowel movements. One of the most common causes of hemorrhoids is excessive straining while going to the bathroom. This may be caused by constipation, or by chronic diarrhea associated with digestive disorders like irritable bowel syndrome and Crohn's disease. It can also be caused by simply sitting on the toilet for prolonged periods of time, due to outside distractions like reading or playing on a smartphone. Do not sit on the toilet for longer than necessary. Try elevating your feet slightly while sitting on the toilet to help facilitate a less strenuous bowel movement. Respond to bowel urges. If you are prone to hemorrhoids, it's important that you use the restroom immediately when you feel the need. Putting off a bowel movement or waiting for a more convenient time can cause constipation and painful bowel movements, which can cause hemorrhoids or aggravate existing ones. Change your diet. If you experience frequent hemorrhoids, changing your diet may help you prevent future recurrence of hemorrhoids. Eating the right foods, and avoiding harmful food, 
Beverages, can help regulate your bowel movements and reduce the chances of constipation. Add fiber to your diet. Good sources of fiber include fruit, vegetables, whole wheat pasta and bread, whole grain rice, seeds, nuts, and oats. Try a fiber supplement. Fiber supplement sources include psyllium husk, wheat dextrin, and methyl cellulose. Taking daily supplements can help ensure you get 20 to 30 grams of fiber every day. Stay hydrated. Drinking enough water each day can help you regulate your bowel movements and reduce the chances of constipation. Aim for 6 to 8 glasses each day. Avoid caffeine and alcohol, as these can affect your bowel movements. Try a stool softener. You can make a simple stool softener by adding 1 tablespoon. 14.79 milliliters of mineral oil to a soft food like applesauce or yogurt. Eat the stool softener with one of your meals, but do not consume this recipe for extended periods of time. Exercise and lose weight. Being overweight can be a major contributor to hemorrhoids, as additional weight puts pressure on your veins. Physical activity itself can also help reduce the incidence of constipation. Try alternative medicine. Though medical treatments are most effective, certain herbal or vitamin treatments may help provide relief. Common alternative treatments include Aloe vera Vitamin E Yarrow Bayberry Golden seal root Myrrh White oak Seeking medical assistance Know when to see a doctor. Hemorrhoids are highly treatable and generally harmless. However, they may cause complications in some people. If you are experiencing complications associated with hemorrhoids, or if your condition does not improve after about a week with over-the-counter treatments, see a doctor immediately. Chronic and prolonged blood loss caused by hemorrhoids can lead to anemia in some people. Anemia results from a loss of red blood cells, which restricts your body's ability to carry oxygen to your cells. Symptoms of anemia include weakness and chronic fatigue. If your body's blood flow to a hemorrhoid is suddenly cut off, it can lead to a condition known as strangulated hemorrhoids. Strangulated hemorrhoids are extremely painful and may result in necrosis, tissue death, and gangrene. Try non-surgical treatment options. There are a number of options your doctor can counsel you on that do not require surgery. These options are generally safe and effective, are minimally invasive, and can usually be done in an outpatient setting. Rubber Band Ligation This minimally invasive procedure uses tiny rubber bands to constrict blood flow to the hemorrhoid. Your doctor will place these bands around the base of the hemorrhoid, and within one week the hemorrhoid will shrivel and fall off. Sclerotherapy Injection this procedure involves a chemical injection into the inflamed tissue. It results in a shrunken hemorrhoid with reduced pain and inflammation. The injection causes relatively little pain, but may be less effective than rubber band ligation. Coagulation This technique uses either laser, infrared light, or heat, bipolar, treatments to shrivel and harden the inflamed hemorrhoids. Coagulation has few side effects but often has a high rate of recurrence compared to rubber band ligation. Undergo a surgical procedure. In some cases, hemorrhoids may not respond to non-surgical treatments. If you have not had success with other treatments, or if you have abnormally large hemorrhoids, your doctor may suggest surgery to remove your hemorrhoids. There are a few different surgical options, and they may be performed in an outpatient setting or may require hospitalization depending on the surgical technique and severity of your hemorrhoids. Surgical procedures do run the risk of prolonged bleeding, infection, and leaking stool, though long-term adverse effects are very rare. Hemorrhoidectomy This procedure is the surgical removal hemorrhoids and the tissue around hemorrhoids.